Hi everybody, I'm Bonnie Barker with Bonnie Bay Crochet and today I wanted to demonstrate for you the low front ridge which is a stitch that I often use to help trim and, and set set off a lot of other uh, cables and various um, crochet textures that I love to make. Okay, so what I have here is a just a sample swatch. This has approximately 17 single crochets in it and I am working it on another sample where I made the cable stitch. Now if you want to learn the cable stitch just check on to my home page and I do have this other video so that you can learn how to crochet the stitch but for now we're going to work the low front ridge and I'm going to start with a chain one which I've already made and for this stitch we're only going to work in the front loop as you can see there are two loops of the stitch we're going to skip the first stitch and we're going to work a slip stitch only in the front loop going across the row and you're going to want to be careful that you don't make this row too tight because slip stitches just generally tend to be a tighter stitch so you want to be careful that your attention is is normal uh, to maybe even a little bit on the looser side for this. So we're just going to, to work a slip stitch and if you've never worked a slip stitch before you just pull the yarn through and pull the yarn through. Insert the hook, pull the yarn through, pull the yarn through and that's all there is to, to it for row one. This stitch can be worked with any multiples so you're not limited uh, to a, you know, for example, to a specific multiple of three, like you would be for the cable stitch. So this stitch can be worked over any stitch multiple. Okay, and we did skip the first stitch, but that's not going to change our stitch count because the the row that counts to determine or maintain our stitch count is going to be row two, which we're going to work. So we've worked these slip stitches all the way across the row. Chain one, we're going to turn and now we're going to work row two and you can see where the single crochet is that we worked in previously well we are only going to work in the remaining loop which is right here so we're going to work single crochets in that remaining loop so let's go ahead and we're going to work these all the way across and a single crochet in case you don't know put your hook in pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two that would be a single crochet in case you're a beginner out there so we're going to just work these all the way across the row. Okay, I've worked these all the way across and this is the back side. Let me show you what this does. Okay, this is the front side facing. And do you see that nice ridge? Isn't that beautiful? And let me show you, see how, how much nicer this stitch is defined by such a simple raised texture. I don't have one on this side, but generally when I work my my designs, I generally put these on both sides of the stitch, but I wanted you to see how it looks without and how this how this is so much more defined with. So that is the low front ridge, and I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. If you did, please hit that thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And check out the video description below. I have many uh, playlists on my channel where you can learn how to apply this to various designs. God bless. Bye-bye.